What's up guys, it's Kyokai1994, back again to, you guessed it, review another manga. In late 2016, Shoeisha, the company that publishes the Dragon Ball mangas, announced that they would be creating a new division inside their company, the Dragon Ball Room. This room's job is solely devoted to create content having to do with the Dragon Ball universe, and that is what they have done. This video I will be reviewing the first chapter of a for now 3 chapter run Dragon Ball side story and tell you my thoughts on it. Most of the time when anybody in the community thinks of the name Yamcha, visions such as this flash. The creators have realized how the community feels and have tried to reinstate some greatness back into the name that is Yamcha recently. In Dragon Ball for most of the time, Yamcha was actually one of the most strongest and useful fighters, but now he has been turned into the butt of the joke for many anime communities, but now Yamcha butts back making them the joke in the newest adventure, Dragon Ball Side Story, The Case of Being Reincarnated as Yamcha. The chapter was released December 11th of 2016 and it is the manga that I feel should restore some more credibility back to Yamcha and we'll start the first of hopefully many additions to the Dragon Ball franchise. From here on out, I will warn you that if you have not read the manga chapter, I don't want to ruin anything for you and that's exactly what this video will do. So I would suggest stopping the video now and clicking on one of my other videos. I will leave a link in the description below where you can read the English translation of the chapter yourself. We open this story with two boys walking down the street talking about a Dragon Ball attraction that a group of them are interested in going to. One boy, who happened to be the winner of the Dokken event the day prior, wants his friend to invite some girls to come along to the attraction as well. They then ponder of the dream of finding a girl that loves Dragon Ball just as them. After thinking about the Dokken event, our main character just happens to mention how useful Yamcha was for his team last night. They see a girl walking below with a short skirt, and like a young Master Roshi, our lead runs after her, takes one wrong step, and she is the reason for his death just like his friend said she would be. We get to the next panel where we see Yamcha for the first arc of the Dragon Ball manga. The lead takes a look at his handy dandy mirror, and realizes he has died and come back as Yamcha. While still coping with being Yamcha, he is stunned when he lays eyes on the gorgeous Bulma, and he realizes her true beauty lying past the manga panels. His goal is to treat Bulma right. Unlike Yamcha did in the series, he won't cheat on her and he wants to be devoted to her. While saying their goodbyes, Goku tells them of his plan to go back to Roshi's to train. The reborn Yamcha realizes this is the whole turning point to the story, and decides to tell Bulma to wait for him, that he'll come back for her, but he has to go train with Goku, and train, he did. A huge time skip has taken place, and now we're in the Z portion of the series during the Saiyan arc. Reborn Yamcha is just about to start the life-threatening fight with Vegeta and Nappa and some of the Cybermen. The Reborn Yamcha announces that he will take on all six Cybermen at once and is called Kaki by Vegeta. The first Cyberman attacks and Yamcha clean punches the head off of its shoulders. The other five are then ordered to charge and we start to see a scene that's very similar to Yamcha's death in the series. The dust then clears from the explosion and we see Yamcha standing there with not a single scratch on it. Everyone cheers while Piccolo ponders how did he get this strength? And this is the question that we're left with at the conclusion of this chapter. I really enjoyed this release by Dragon Gara Lee and hope he's the one of the ones who continues writing the Dragon Ball side stories after his first run concludes. With the main character's full knowledge of the series, he creates several good gags and spoilers to the live Dragon Ball world his character now resides in. Like when he tells everyone that Goku is a Saiyan, or when he mentions of the Tenkaichi Budokai when they're saying bye to Goku. I find it very interesting to see a very self-aware character having to act normal while being a whole new person and figuring that concept out. Like when he falls on the ground with everyone else because that's what people in that universe do when they're laughing at Goku responding about his loss of a tail. With his character being blessed with the great knowledge of the universe, typical already seen situations can be altered and an interesting new story can be created from those. I really enjoyed the story and I'm excited to review the second chapter coming soon. I can't wait to own a physical copy of this and an actual English translation, but sadly, there's not one out yet, so I had to read it off of a link that I will leave in the description below. I always support owning the official release and encourage others to as well whenever you can. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I really encourage you to leave a like. I know I'm a little late on this review, but I do want to hear your thoughts on the side story and what other stories you want this Dragon Ball room to put out below in the comments. I want you all to have a great day and I'll catch you all next time around.